think I'm so cold, I'll say something, ain't no going back. Now they ask where Kiki's at. I'm like, you can hang with that. Kiki, where you at? I know y'all saw that music video and thought, yes, Queen, I'm a Kiana main now. Let's go. But you have no idea how to play her. Don't worry, I got you. Let me casually explain how this avatar, master of all three elements, works. First, I just want to say this champ's a lot easier than you think it would be. Once you put in a few games, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now to explain her kit easily, we gotta start with her W. Some avatar BS. By default, Kiana has no element, but by using W on walls, river, and bushes, gives her one of the three elements. Notice how I didn't say the ground or earth? That's because clicking the ground is absolutely nothing. Don't fall for that noob mistake like I did. Structures like tower, inhibitor, and nexus all count as walls as well in Kiana's case. Your weapon stays this new element until consumed. While you're holding the element, you deal bonus magic damage on basic attacks, and you get out of combat movement speed while running near the element of choice. So, for example, if you have the water element, you'll run faster in the river. This is great for roaming, by the way. Also, make sure when you're returning to lane from the base, you hold the earth element and hug the walls for the movement speed buff to get to the lane faster. Note when clicking on an element, you will do a short dash to the element clicked, so you can use this to jump over walls or dodge skill shots. Just don't dash into danger while trying to get that water element in lane. Now for her passive. More damage for no reason. Any unit not recently damaged by Kiana take bonus physical damage. Yeah, that's it. Free damage. Also, if you use W, you reset the cooldown on all units. So you could damage someone, W, and get another free passive proc. It's free real estate. Just note, doing that reset part, you have to change to a different element than you were before. Time for her Q. Using that avatar BS. Using Q consumes your current element by throwing a skill shot. Bush gives you a stealth zone in the direction of the Q, and while on the trail you get movement speed buff, use this to break ankles or to run away from your target. River gives your Q a short root and slow on everyone hit, great for helping with ganks when your jungler comes. And Earth gives you bonus damage if your target's below 50% health. You'll mostly be using this for all in trades. Hey, wanna know something fun? Your W resets the cooldown of your Q. So you can Q, W, Q for a winning trade. Don't forget your passive is also being reset too if you change up the elements in this combo. Next up, her E. The dash. Simply put, you dash a fixed distance towards your target. To make the champ even easier, if you Q in the middle of your dash, Kiana will auto aim her Q to the target. See what I mean when I said this champ was easy to learn? If you do this at max distance, you'll land on top of your target. And if you do this near your target, you'll end up farther behind them. It's just like Yasuo and Fizz's dash. With that said, you can even E to jump over walls if positioned right. Kiana's R. Almighty push. Almighty push! Okay, let's break down how this alt works. First you... Well, you push in the direction of the skill shot. The push itself won't do any damage, but if the skill does hit a wall or any other structure, a stun zone appears around that terrain and also causes damage. So, you know, push him into that wall. You can also damage with the push if used in the river or in a bush. River still gives CC, but the bush will only do the damage part. Also, it's really hard to just hit a champion with the bush, so you'll probably end up proccing the wall or the river next to it for the stun anyway. You don't have to hit a champion to activate the stun, so feel free to help out your team in a team fight if you're on the other side of the wall. Just throw that ult and see him get stunned. Okay, I know you're wondering, does this ult go all the way around the map? Well... No, but it goes pretty far. And there you go, you're ready to play the avatar. Have fun. Also, if you found this guide helpful, think about dropping a like or even subscribing to the channel. I don't know if you want to. Whatever. Okay, peace.